Hey YouTube, I just uh, wanted to do a video um, on the uh, differences between your normal um, uncirculated uh, bullion coins. This is obviously the uh, UK Lunar series, which I've uh, shown before. The horse was the first coin in the series. And then the sheep, and um, I also have these in the uh, proof. I was, uh, well, I will be getting a monkey, hopefully. But I've been putting it off at the moment to spend my mother on money on other things. So I just wanted to uh, see the difference. Obviously, I got quite a few of these, which I did have a few problems with a few of them. Um, with the scratches in the field and some spotting issues, you know, out of eight uh, monkeys that I have, only two I would say are of a good enough grade, really, um, to be, you know, considered semi numismatic. Um, so, yeah, let's get these out of the way. Obviously, I've got my still got my three trusty little coins now, but um, I'm hoping to uh, let them tarnish a bit. And uh, I've been touching them and holding them every day, and I'm quite enjoying them. Now that they're out of the capsules. Um, I do actually like the coins, so I'm going to use these two anyway to um, show you the difference between these and a proof coin. Now, you would think that a proof coin would just be better. Well, let's see, we have a monkey. You can go over there for the moment. <coughs> Sorry. So let's start with the horse. And uh, let me take it out of the box quickly. As you can see. It is quite similar, this coin, to the uh, horse. See, they're both one ounce, but you can clearly see it is a different. The design is the same on this coin. But it is different. Let's get one in a capsule. And let's have a look. Obviously, I'm not taking this proof coin out of this uh, capsule, unfortunately. Um, but as you can see, it is more noticeable on the Queen, which a lot of the time, you know. Ooh, I've got slippery hands today. I don't know what is wrong with me. As you can see, you know, it's um kind of a like a bit like a reverse proof on the other other side. And um yeah. <laughs> so obviously the proof coins cost a lot more, but you get the uh, COA and the presentation and the box and generally they don't come with uh, scratches or milk spotting. Well, I have s had to send one of these horses back because it did have this brown spotting around the rim. Um, but all the others I've uh, seen didn't have any. So it might be down to the way that that dealer had been storing the coins or thing but I really do like them so 
moving on, that was the horse. We have the sheep, which it's only a sheep, and they are struggling to sell the actual mintage on these, the actual sheep this year. Um, I'm hoping to f try and find out what the actual sales were for the uh, horse because the mintage was 8,888 on the horse and the sheep was 9,088 but this year's monkey has dropped to 5,888 and um, as you can see I uh, got this sheep from the uh, mint outlet guy that's why I call him at Clanzarent Coins and um, 6147 uh, I reckon they've sold about 6,000 of them oh, and they're now struggling to get rid of the rest and you can sort of pick them up quite cheap but if you notice with the sheep on this one oh, let's get one in a capsule it's obviously just got the mirrored field and it is very mirrored, you know. It's just a sheep, really, but, you know, it's okay. It's, you know, the others are nicer than this. But when you come to the actual proof coin, you can notice... There's a lot more detail and um, there's this extra design here which I really do like this coin the proof coin in this uh, UK Luna series um, my camera is obviously not the best camera but it's clearly a much nicer coin than that and um, yeah, I picked this up kind of, you know, relatively cheap this year for what it is. And um, it's very nice. So I was hoping to get a monkey, but as I said, I haven't got a monkey yet. And um, so I thought I'd jump ahead and do the video. Um, Quick sip of coffee because I've got a bit of a dry throat today because it is warm. Something came in today and um, that was a um, ear of the goat one ounce proof coin and um, picked this up rather cheap from a UK seller. <coughs> presume it was cheap I think 36 pounds 90 or something like that so yeah not a bad price and um, obviously I have the uh, bullion version from uh, 2015 obviously limited mintage and um, yeah Comparing it to the UK sheep, I would, or, you know, a goat, a sheep, it's the same year, some, you know, the sheep, the goat, and there is another one that they call it, off the top of my head, I can't remember, but there's, there are three, like, you know, they have a choice in that year, you know, some it's the sheep, some it's the goat. Um, and, um, yeah, so, you know, which are nice coins, you know, if you're going to make a goat look nice, you know, as I said, that, the nicer standard bullion coin than that one. And they probably were about the same sort of premium to buy them. Uh, give or take a bit because these do carry a little premium in the UK and other dealers because they are capital gains tax free and obviously these are not 
and the mintage on these is only I think a hundred thousand and the mintage on these is three hundred thousand or five hundred thousand you know I get confused between the kookaburras and the um, lunas but I think it's the kookaburras are five hundred thousand and the lunas are yeah, let's open this box up because I've um, not really had a good look at this. I just opened it to make sure it was right and yeah. So um, yeah. <clears throat> Cause I mean I have seen a few of these about and I'm not, you know, one ounce silver proof coin. You get your little thing. What's the mintage? Perfect release no more than 5,000 of the 2015 year of the goat one ounce silver proof coin in a vin individual packaging. 5,000 maximum mintage, eight and a half thousand. So there must be some other special editions somewhere else to make up the other three and a half thousand. So, as I said, quite low mintage on this one. Which is, uh, you know, it's probably a slow year, the goat. You get your little case. And, um, here we go. Look at this baby. Wow. Year of the goat. I do like it. But this has got mirrored, uh, you know. We're going to call that a reverse proof, or I don't know, you know, which is, as I said, this one has the kind of mirrored, doesn't really have a mirrored, you know, the queen is mirrored on this side, the proof, the background's mirrored, but the, the frame. <clears throat> the Queen's face is like mirrored, so you know it's like the opposite, really. But you know, even the Queen looks good on this one. I mean, if you're gonna do the Queen, you know, like that, that is a lovely coin, and very. As I said, you know, the coin is basically the same, the design, but just they've uh, changed it and uh, is slightly a better quality, which, you know, I quite like the nicer coins now over these standard bullion coins. I mean, I do like these Lunas, you know, they are like, you know, but... I'm just, proof coins are, you know, obviously more limited, more collectible, and um, yeah, they are nicer coins in my opinion. So, that's the, uh, obviously, the year of the goat coin, the Perf Mint, and um, the other thing I picked up, I showed the other day, was the 2012 Kookaburra. So obviously I have I had to dig them out. I have a 2012 Kookaburra. And um, lovely coins, Kookaburras, one of my favourites. It's a shame they're smaller than the... Uh, than the uh, Lunas, but, uh, you know, slightly thicker, but the design on these coins is superb, on these recent ones, some of the older ones, I'm not really a big fan of them, I do like them, but I prefer these sort of newer design, um, that's just my personal preference. So that's the 2012, and they do a proof coin, but it's a high relief proof. So let's have a look at that and compare the two. 
me on. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. A lot smaller. It's the same weight, obviously. A lot thicker. Yeah, twice as thick almost. And um, it's concaved a little bit to get a deeper press. And the queen on the other side. Uh, yeah, so I am getting into the uh, proof coins now, and um, you know I can see the potential of getting proof coins and being able to flip them or you know hold on to them for a bit, and um, yeah, turn a quite a decent profit. Um, because some of them are highly collectible and people just get into them, but, uh, you know, they are kind of like two totally different coins again. Um, as I said, you know, what do people think? I mean... Your standard bullion's obviously cheaper. Um, you could get more of it, but these coins are superior. And thus forth, will carry a premium, and um, but will hold that premium. And in a short space of time, sometimes you can get a good return on that premium. But. Uh, you know, as I said, I really do like these kookaburras. You know, they do do, I think, a five ounce um, kookaburra. But, you know, they're a bit too expensive for me at the moment. I have got a 2016 kookaburra on uh, order. Because they have come out at the Perth Mint. And I'm uh, looking forward to uh, receiving that one. Because the 2016 kookaburra is another very nice coin. And it's uh, sold out at the Perth Mint. Sold out at Silver To Go, where I mainly get my uh, kookaburras and that sort of stuff from. And um, prices are starting to uh, go up on them. Because, you know, soon dealers are going to run out and they're only going to be on the secondary market. Or people are selling them at the higher prices. They're going to get in, start to snap up when people can't get hold of them. So if you see them at a decent price, pick them up now. So anyhow, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, put any comments or uh, things in the uh, bottom. And uh, I'll uh, try and answer any questions. Because I always like a good chat about different things. So yeah. Thing is it's a long video and I've been 20 minutes I haven't touched my silver coins and I am really enjoying touching these coins and you know playing with them because a lot of the time I don't want to touch my silver and I wear gloves you know because but these three as I said, I'm going to allow these to tone up and, you know, I'm going to circulate them around my house. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, laters. <clears throat> Have a good one.